Guys, have you seen something like this before? Well, if you haven't, you're not alone. And that's because this is not uh, taught in most school and it, most of the time it's not in the syllabus. This is called tetration. I'm going to get into the reason why this does not get used a lot as we move on. This is tetration and it is also called superpower or it, it's also called um, power tower, okay? Well, you know the regular power if you have 3 raised to power 2, 3 to the second power. This is equal to 3 and multiplied by 3, right? Well, if it's 3 raised to power 3, this is 3 multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 3, right? Well, this is 27 and this is 9, right? Well, what is this? 3, th you pronounce this as the third tetration of 3. This is going to be equal to 3 raised to the power of 3 to the third power. So, and how do you, how do you evaluate this? You are going to solve this from the top and down to the bottom. So you start from the top here. Well, let's do this one. So this is going to be 3 raised to power. 3 raised to power 3 is um, 9. You will notice here that you are going to you, you probably are going to need your calculator here to solve this. So um, because this would mean 3 and multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 3 and multiplied by 3 in 9 places, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this gets big pretty quickly. And what is this? I'm going to need calculator for this. Let me get that in a second. So that is one nine C eight three. You can see that's a lot. It get big pretty quickly. So and this is the more reason why tetration don't get used a lot in in mathematics because the number get pretty big very quickly. So look, had it had it been um, let's say the fifth tetration of number like let's say um fifth iteration of three for example so what would this be so this would be three to the power of three raised to the power three and raised to the power three and raised to the power three look at that so the power tower you have five raised to the power three and power three five times can you see that so this number gets so big that it can be rather difficult to compute so the number gets so big and um, sometimes it gets so big that you cannot even write it down. And this is the reason why tetration don't get used a lot in mathematics. Nonetheless, there are some um, um, simple some problems where you can come by this, although it is rare, but something you should know. It's a cool math. Don't you agree? Well, in the next um, subsequent videos on this channel, look out for some um, equations that involve tetration. Please look into that. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next one.